guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting episode of my vlog because I'm going to be unboxing this print over here. I've been wanting an art printer for a very long time now and I've spent hours researching printers online and I hated every minute of it. <laughs> but here it is finally, so I'm really excited to get started. I ended up choosing between Canon PIXMA TS9551C and Epson Expression Photo I think 970 or something like that. <laughs> the problem was that Epson is quite hard to come across here in Europe and Canon is much more common. So I thought it would be more convenient also later purchasing ink refills if I go for Canon because I can go to any stationery store and find ink locally without needing to order it online. So yeah, and it's white. And this is where I ran into a problem. When connecting to my Wi-Fi network, the printer wouldn't ask for the password, failing to connect and displaying an error message. After a few hours with the help of the internet and my boyfriend, I managed to fix the problem. Here are a few things you could try if you experience the same issue. I tried out a few paper options. First of all, the Canon matte photo paper that came in the box. Next I have Epson archival matte paper, which was very highly rated by the online community. I also have sticker paper, but I haven't designed any stickers yet, so I will make a separate video about it. I create digital artwork, so there wasn't much to the process of preparing it for the print. I created an A4 file from print templates in Adobe Illustrator. It automatically sets the color mode to CMYK, but you can always double check the settings. I then spent some time adjusting my artwork to fit the A4 size. For both photo paper and cardstock you need to use the back tray. Once you finish setting it up, the printer asks you to specify the paper size and paper type. I did the first print on Canon photo paper and it came out with slightly blurry edges. On the next run, when printing on Epson cardstock, I increased the resolution of my print file and it solved the issue. I also made a print on plain paper just for comparison. Although the artwork in higher resolution was much more crisp, I noticed that there was some consistent noise on Epson paper. Canon paper didn't have such problem. Later I figured out that it is better to set paper type to photo even for cardstock to avoid noise. 
In terms of colors, the printer did a really great job. I love both results even though there are some differences. I will need to make a few more test prints to figure out if the difference comes from paper or settings. I printed out some more artworks which turned out absolutely great. Here are once again some specific settings that help me improve the print quality. To sum up, here are all the things that I loved about this printer and what wasn't ideal. All in all, I'm very happy with my purchase and I can definitely recommend this printer as a solid, budget-friendly option for making art prints. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions or there is something specific that you want me to cover. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.